Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the video editing features within StreamYard. Step number one is to go to the StreamYard.com dashboard. Consider using my affiliate link in the description if you need help getting there. Step number two, go to the home tab over here and we need to choose. We're gonna create a live stream or create a recording. Now there's zero video editing features in the live stream feature of StreamYard, obviously because we are live streaming. So this means we need to click on the recording feature. And this is essentially the local recording where you can record stuff in the studio. So after clicking on recording, this prompt will open up and it says, let's check your camera and microphone. So there's an audio bar here that kind of is testing your microphone. You can click on the settings tab to change your camera, your camera resolution, make sure your microphones are set up correctly and your speakers, and you can even change the backgrounds. Then enter your display name, my name is Chris, and then click on enter studio. So this is the recording studio here, and essentially it looks the same as it does if you are streaming live. And how this works, if we click up here in the right hand corner, there's a big record button. That's how we start the recording. This screen here is what you will be recording. So what we first wanna do is we wanna add our camera. So go down here in the left hand corner and click our camera to add it to the stage. All right, so I have multiple webcams here, so don't be too confused. So if I were to click record, this is essentially what we're recording here. Or what I can do is I can invite guests. If I click on invite, I can copy and paste this link and send it to them and then they can join the stream. That's how you'd essentially record an interview. I'm gonna open a new tab here for a YouTube page. This is just the home page of YouTube. Then what you can do is you can add other screens that are on your computer. So if you click on the present tab down here, we can add slides, an extra camera, video file, or share screen. I'm gonna share the screen. I'm gonna share this YouTube tab that I opened, but you can share any window on your desktop and you can even share your entire screen. So I'm gonna share this YouTube tab. This is essentially what it looks like when I hit record. And again, I can change the layout here of what it looks like. I can move my little camera down in the corner. So then to use the video editing features here, essentially when we start to hit record, all I do is hit record. I can add an intro video, but I don't need to because I don't have one, so click record. So StreamYard doesn't really have like a true video editing feature, but what it has is it has a pause button, which is essentially really crucial to help saving time with editing. Say like now I'm recording, you can see I'm live right here. It says recording 14 seconds in. Say if I am done recording, all I'd have to do is click pause and then it pauses the video. This kind of saves a lot of time in video editing, right? Then it, once I'm ready to get going again, I just click play and then the video recording essentially just starts right up and you can see the timer right here. This can essentially save a lot of time video editing. It's not essentially a actual video editor, but I would call this a video editing feature within StreamYard, and this is how to use it. And once we're done recording the video, all we have to do is click end recording. And now that our video has like it where it's paused, where I don't need to be recording, I can save on video editing. So then if I click on return to dashboard, then click on past recordings. This is my recording right here. I can click on these three dots and then just download it. So that's how to use the video editing features within StreamYard. Hit me up in the comments. If you're considering signing up for StreamYard, please use my affiliate links in the description. You can get a free trial to try StreamYard from one creator to the other. You're helping me out by using that link. And hit me up in the comments. What type of creator are you? Are you on YouTube? Are you looking to save time with video editing? I have tons of other tutorials. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.